In the past few decades, our industry has experienced vast and extensive changes, and especially on agriculture industry. This makes us must face many new challenges. Today, we have invited an expert in animal nutrition, Miss Juju, to explain this question for us. Thanks for the invitation. Hi, everyone. I'm Jojo. Our world is changing according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization's forecast. By 2050, the world's population will reach 9.7 billion, and the demand for food will increase by 50 percent. There will be a very, very huge pressure on the big ecological environment in the future that we already have. In the fish farming industry, especially on salmon farming industry, it may provide a solution to meet this growing demand while alleviating the pressure on marine resources from fishing. This is a great mission. You just mentioned the salmon farming. If we want more production, what else we can do to improve salmon farming quantity? Salmon farming has been very successful now, but it does not mean that the industry has been become perfect. There are still have many problems to restrict our development. As an ancient fish species, salmon also has its own old enemy, that is Calyus. Atlantic salmon has reproduced in the wild for thousands of years, and sea lice were not a very serious problem for them before. However, with、um, salmon farming develop, after we put a large number of salmon in a very small cage, sea lice has led to the huge damage to the salmon industry. Sea lice is a kind of parasite、uh, which has eight developmental stages. Their life cycle follows temperatures usually is seven months. Their reproductive ability is very strong. With 500 to 1,000 eggs on each of the left and the right lung tails, if the temperature is good, it can start breeding in 16 days afterwards. These parasites eliminate the tissue and blood of the salmon, which can reduce the immune function of salmon, infection with viral or salmonella, etc., and reduce the growth performance of salmon. Which often bring a big mortality to salmon. Sea lice can cause more than 100 million dollars losses to the salmon industry every year. One billion U.S. dollars. This is a huge loss. Is there any way we can solve this problem? The current methods are chemical methods to deal with sea lice, such as picoline, benzoylurine, hexafluorine, and other products. However, this has also led to some problems, such as reduced salmon feed intake, slower growth, and high mortality. Of course, the biggest problem is resistance. Therefore, at present, various farming companies are looking for new solutions to solve the problem. Now, the popular way is farming without chemicals. Which means that natural products are more favored. Do you have relevant information to introduce to us? At present, people generally like natural products, such like eucalyptus oil, for example, eucalyptus. A popular natural parasite repellent product we have used now. It produced from Australia eucalyptus polybracti. Can you explain more information about this? Product for us? Yes, let me show you a video. We all know that cola never had parasites problem because it uses eucalyptus leaves as the main food source. Inspired by this phenomenon, Australians use eucalyptus leaves as an expectorant and a preservative. Anti-malaria drugs and anesthetics have been used for thousands of years. There are hundreds of eucalyptus. It is found out in trials that Eucalyptus polybacteri, which grows in Victoria, Australia, contains more effective ingredients. For example, cinnamon can reach 84 to 87 percent, which take effect against parasites. That is the product we launched, Eucalyptus. The main ingredient of Eucalyptus is the Eucalyptus oil from the Eucalyptus polybacteri. As a natural substance, it has a variety of effective ingredients such as terpenes, 
or tapping nose, like a white eggs scenario, which makes it have more targets for parasites. So can be used for lung type. One eight scenario can inhibit the activity of acetylcholesterols, destroy the membrane structure of the parasites, the protective membrane and the organelle membrane, and cut off the parasites' the energy source, making it living some body. In other words, they are starved to death. At the same time, scenario can destroy the Sembra of the bacteria increase the permeability of the cell and cause the leakage of the substance inside the cell, thereby inhibiting the growth and the reproduction of the bacteria. Eukabiotics have a significant inhibitory effect on harmful bacteria, which are commonly found in the aquaculture, such as Vibro harvey and the salmonella, etc. At the same time, eucalyptus oil is uh, also approved by the EU certification, which means it is very safe to use. Sounds great. Is there any experiment to prove its efficacy? Yes, we have a video here. We can see that with the addition of 500 eucalyptus, the cells began to drop the vigor significantly. And after reaching 1,000 grams, the sea lice began to stop moving. Of course, they did not die. But they had no vitality, no longer damage to the fish body, and will slowly leave the fish body and going to die. It looks great, but I have a question. We know that many natural medicines cannot be resistant to the high temperature. Will this happen to eucalyptus? Usually, the production temperature of salmon feed is 120 degrees. We have done some experimental to ensure the eucalyptus will not lose too much under the high temperature. Of course, some customers have used it now and have a very good feedback. Thank you, Miss Jojo. This is really an amazing product. I believe that with this product, our salmon farming will definitely get better results. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.